Ever wondered why the sun disappears during the day, turning daylight into twilight? It's not a magic trick, it's a solar eclipse. To understand this celestial phenomenon, let's imagine three celestial bodies on a cosmic dance floor. The sun, the moon, and the earth. Now these three don't always line up perfectly, but when they do, the result is nothing short of spectacular. It's an event we call a solar eclipse. Imagine the sun as the main stage, putting on a grandiose light show. The earth is us, the audience, mesmerized by the sun's performance. Now, picture the moon as a rather spontaneous performer, deciding to take the spotlight every now and then. During a solar eclipse, the moon decides to take center stage, moving between the earth and the sun, effectively blocking the sun's light from reaching us. But here's the thing that makes it truly fascinating. The moon, despite being roughly 400 times smaller than the sun, is also about 400 times closer to the earth. This amazing cosmic coincidence means that from our perspective here on Earth, the Sun and the Moon appear to be roughly the same size. So, when the Moon decides to take the stage, it can almost perfectly cover the Sun, creating a breathtaking spectacle of a total solar eclipse. For a few precious moments, the day turns into twilight. Stars and planets that are usually hidden by the Sun's light suddenly become visible. The temperature drops, birds stop singing, and a sense of awe and wonder washes over everything. It's as if time itself takes a pause to appreciate this rare and beautiful alignment of the sun, the moon and the earth. So the next time you see the sun disappear, remember, it's not gone. It's just behind the moon. So how does this cosmic alignment cause the sun to vanish? It's all about shadows. Imagine the sun, the moon and the earth, all lined up in a row. This alignment happens during a solar eclipse. The moon slides between the sun and our planet, and for a brief period, it casts a shadow on Earth. But not all shadows are created equal. In the case of a solar eclipse, there are two types of shadows at play, the umbra and the penumbra. Let's break it down. Picture the moon blocking the sun's light. The darkest part of the moon's shadow, where the sun's light is completely blocked, is known as the umbra. If you're standing in the path of the umbra during a solar eclipse, you're in for a treat. You'll witness a total solar eclipse, where the sun's disk is fully obscured by the moon. Quite a spectacle, right? But what if you're not directly in the path of the umbra? Well, that's where the penumbra comes into play. The penumbra is the lighter part of the shadow, where the sun's light is only partially blocked. If you're in the penumbra's path, you'll see a partial solar eclipse. The sun will appear as a crescent, with the moon covering a portion of it. Now you might be wondering, how can the moon, which is roughly 400 times smaller than the sun, block it out entirely. It's all about distance. The sun is about 400 times farther away from Earth than the moon. This cosmic coincidence means that from our perspective here on Earth, the sun and the moon appear to be roughly the same size in the sky. And so during a solar eclipse, the moon, this relatively small celestial body, perfectly fits over the sun, casting a shadow on Earth. The result? A breathtaking display of cosmic alignment with the moon cloaking the sun and plunging parts of the earth into daytime darkness. And that's how a tiny celestial body like the moon can conceal the gigantic sun casting a shadow over our world. Did you know not all solar eclipses are the same? There are actually three types. Let's delve into the fascinating world of these celestial events. First up is the total solar eclipse, the grandest of them all. This is when the moon completely obscures the sun, leaving only the sun's corona visible. It's a breathtaking sight, with day turning into night, stars coming out in the middle of the day, and temperatures dropping dramatically. It's a cosmic performance that leaves spectators in awe. And guess what? The upcoming April 8th, 2024 eclipse is a total solar eclipse. Get ready for a celestial spectacle. Next, we have the partial solar eclipse. This is when the moon only partially covers the sun. From our viewpoint on Earth, it looks like the moon has taken a bite out of the sun. Though it lacks the drama of a total eclipse, it's still a sight to behold. Finally, there's the annular solar eclipse, also known as the Ring of Fire eclipse. This occurs when the Moon is at its furthest point from Earth in its orbit, meaning it appears smaller and doesn't fully cover the Sun. The result? A bright, fiery ring surrounding the Moon. A truly unique spectacle. Each of these eclipses offers a different visual experience and each comes with its own set of scientific phenomena to explore. Total eclipses allow us to study the sun's corona, 
partial eclipses offer insights into the Moon's orbit, and annular eclipses provide a stunning visual of the Moon's apogee. Just remember, no matter what type of eclipse it is, it's crucial to protect your eyes. Never look directly at the Sun without proper solar viewing glasses. Safety first, stargazers. So, when you hear about a solar eclipse, remember to ask, what kind? From the grandeur of a total eclipse to the fiery ring of an annular one, each type brings its own cosmic charm. Stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of our universe. Ever heard of the path of totality? No, it's not a new sci-fi movie. It's an eclipse term. In the world of celestial phenomena, the path of totality is a term that's as dramatic as it sounds. But what exactly does it mean? Well, let's break it down. When a total solar eclipse occurs, the moon completely covers the sun, casting a shadow on Earth. This shadow isn't just a tiny dot, but a path that stretches across the Earth's surface. The area under this path where observers can see the total eclipse is known as the path of totality. Now why is the path of totality significant? Imagine standing under a completely darkened sky in the middle of the day, with stars visible and the sun's outer atmosphere or corona radiating in all directions. It's a sight to behold and one that's only possible if you're within the path of totality during a total solar eclipse. Let's talk about the upcoming solar eclipse on April 8th, 2024. This is an event that's stirring up excitement among stargazers and astronomers alike. The path of totality. For this particular eclipse will cross several states in the USA. It will start from the southwest, darting across Texas and up through the Midwest before exiting through Maine in the Northeast. This path will give people across this stretch an opportunity to experience the awe-inspiring spectacle of a total solar eclipse. Now, remember, outside the path of totality, you'll only see a partial eclipse. Sure, it's still an impressive sight, but it's not quite the same as witnessing the full totality. So, if you're in the US around that time, you might want to plan a trip that puts you in the right place at the right time. In conclusion, the path of totality is more than just a fancy term. It's the best seat in the house for one of nature's most breathtaking performances. So if you want to witness the full glory of a total solar eclipse, make sure you're in the path of totality. We've come a long way in our cosmic journey. Let's recap. We started by understanding the very basics of a solar eclipse, a celestial event that has fascinated humans for centuries. It's a spectacle of shadows and light, a dance of celestial bodies that we're fortunate enough to witness from our little blue planet. We then delved into the science behind these shadows. How the moon, in its orbit around the Earth, occasionally aligns perfectly with the sun, casting a shadow on our world. It's a precise ballet of cosmic proportions, choreographed by the laws of physics and the gravitational pull of these celestial bodies. We also explored the different types of solar eclipses, partial, annular and total, each one unique, each one a marvel of nature. But it's the total solar eclipse that truly steals the show. A moment of awe-inspiring darkness in the middle of the day, when the moon fully obscures the sun, and we're briefly plunged into a surreal twilight. Our journey then took us along the path of totality, that narrow band across the Earth's surface, where observers can witness a total solar eclipse in all its glory. It's a unique experience, one that can be both humbling and exhilarating. It reminds us of our place in the cosmos, of the vastness of the universe and the incredible beauty it holds. So, we've journeyed through light and shadow, through science and spectacle, to understand this extraordinary natural phenomenon. We've gained a new appreciation for the intricate dance of celestial bodies and the marvels they create. But our journey doesn't end here. The next total solar eclipse is just around the corner. So mark your calendars for April 8th, 2024 and get ready for a celestial spectacle that's out of this world.